So you installed Bubble Cloud Launcher only to find that you have these clouds of bubbles on the screen of your watch instead of some of the other watch faces that are shown in the screenshots in the Play Store. You can get them, I show you how. We, in the app, we go to one-click themes and we will select this classic watch face theme. Let me choose that here. And after a little while, it will appear on the watch. Uh, you can see the background is okay, the dial is okay, but we have those tiny bubbles around the center. That's not ideal. We have a note here on the screen. It tells us to remove some of the favorite bubbles. There are just too many bubbles on, on the watch face right now. So we can click here. It shows us uh, the list of apps and apps marked with the star are in the favorite. Others are in the archive, the brown buttons. So I will sort the list by uh, size so we get all the favorites on the top. I'm only going to leave four plus the clock bubble. So I'm going to remove or move some of these bubbles to the archive. I simply click in front of them and we end up with five bubbles all together. I synchronize and if we check, now we only have these four bubbles on the screen. It can still be improved. We now go to the app launcher card and instead of these color circles, I can choose no bubbles. So it means it will simply show the numbers there in the center of the clock. A little bit better, but we can still improve. We can uh, set them to a uniform color. So I click here and uh, they all will become uh, white. Even better, we can select a color that we want so I'm going to go with this golden color and they appear with that golden color. Uh, let me go back to the one-click themes and this time I'm going to select a different background for the clock. Still can be improved. Let's make them a tiny bit bigger. So adjusting the margin here, we can make uh, these uh, bubbles appear a little bit bigger. Now let's talk about uh, the ambient screen. Hard to see, let me shut the lights here and maybe even reduce the brightness of this screen. So the, so we can better see the ambient clock. Uh, clock face right now it looks the same even the background color is the same there on LCD display watches this is okay but for OLED screens it is recommended to have a black background I'm going to switch to expert mode for this and go to the watch face and I'm going to select uh, this uh, layout where uh, fewer bubbles are shown in the ambient screen. You can already see how it updated. In the ambient screen, we only have the battery percentage. In the uh, regular active watch face, we see all of those. Now we can set the color of the ambient screen information. Also in the app launcher screen, you can see uh, it's still white. So we can leave it white or make it a little bit dimmer. I'm going to go with a, a gray color, which will cause that information to appear with a dimmer color in the ambient screen. Now, if I scroll over, you will realize that something happened to our um, archive cloud. It also uh, shows only the icons and no bubbles around uh, the icons. That's because the archive cloud moved together when in uh, basic mode I changed the bubbles to icons only, the archive cloud followed. But in ex expert mode we can manage the two clouds separately 
So now we have the same look with no uh, bubbles, just the information on the favorite cloud and uh, the archive cloud now has uh, these um, bubbles around them. One more thing I would like to show you. Uh, this arrangement works uh, okay, but maybe uh, the battery percentage is not the most important information that you would like to be able to see on the archive uh, in the ambient screen all the time. Uh, let me show you how this can be controlled in the Wear Cloud Editor. If you look at uh, the favorite bubbles, uh, this uh, battery level has that black marker there. So that means it's going to show up in the ambient screen. So let me switch over instead and make the date show all the time there. And we will even switch the two. So I'm going to set this the size of this to four and the other one to five. This controls their orders. So as I uh, click, you now see the date in that position. And when I exit, it will be able to go to the ambient screen. And now you see only that information showing up on the ambient screen. And when the screen is uh, touched, the rest of the information also shows up.